Since she was 14 years old, college sophomore Serena Sadawi has been unhappy about her appearance, especially her nose. I know it may seem stupid to put so much emphasis on one part of your body, but when you're my age, I guess you, you can't help it. I don't feel comfortable with my nose at all. Just because it's big and it has a bump, but I don't like just the way it is. Before she returns to school, she'll have the operation she's wanted since she was 14, a rhinoplasty to restructure the shape of her nose. I don't want my nose to be a distinctive part of my face, I guess. Just a nose that doesn't really attract attention to itself. I just want it to be normal. In addition to the cosmetic element, the surgery will also improve her breathing by fixing her deviated septum. But for Serena, it's mostly about how a change on the outside will transform her from the inside. I thought perhaps that maybe my self-image would change over the years, but it really hasn't, and I still don't like it, and that's what finally made my mom agree to let me do this surgery. I think she looks beautiful now, but I think she'll look more beautiful because she'll be more confident, more than anything. I've always had a passion for the nose. I think there is a lot of our character, our personality, elegance associated with the nose. Monica Tatros is an attending physician at New York's Roosevelt Hospital and double board certified in head and neck reconstruction and facial plastic surgery. She combines her reconstructive talents with an eye for the aesthetic. To me, there are three levels of mastery for rhinoplasty. The first is, can you make it look good? So, form. And the second level is function. Can you make it work? Okay, and once you've reached those two, people think they're done. But for Dr. Tadros, there is more to consider. That third level is understanding that the nose, how it relates to the rest of the face is important, but also how it conveys a certain sense of character and its person's identity. With rhinoplasty being the number one cosmetic procedure for people under 35, Dr. Tadros often works with young patients like Serena. Um, when I first meet people, I'm very self-conscious about my looks because I know that's what they're looking at. I could tell she was communicating to me something that um, was very real to her, that she was always self-conscious about her nose. And that's part of the interaction between the patient and the doctor to really understand what it is that may be holding somebody back. Having long held a fascination for the human face, she approaches surgery like an artist. Facial plastic surgery actually is somewhat different than the rest of plastic surgery because our face divines our emotions. She's performing an ethnic rhinoplasty to bring Serena's nose into balance with the rest of her face without losing her Middle Eastern appearance. It's not so much that her nose is too big for her face, it's that it appears too big for her face. And her nose starts about here when it really should start closer to the upper eyelash line. Nearly two hours into the operation, Dr. Tadros has widened Serena's nasal passage to improve her breathing and is now ready to move on to the cosmetic work. Addressing Serena's concern about the width of her nose, Dr. Tadros will actually break her nasal bone in order to narrow the bridge. She works in rhythm with another surgeon. Dr. Tadros holds an instrument called an osteotome, or bone cutter, and dictates when to hit it. With each tap, they shave off pieces of Serena's nasal bone. When he tapped on the hammer, the sound got a little harder, so I knew we were at the end of where we wanted to be. So it's better already. Yeah. Next, Dr. Tadros perfects the tip by changing its shape. After smoothing out the bump on Serena's nose by filing it down and narrowing the width by breaking the nasal bone, Dr. Tadros will now build up the bridge of her nose so it starts at eyelash level. All of these steps together will better balance the features on her face. She meticulously shapes and trims the graft before she considers it ready. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. Finally, happy with the size and shape, she inserts it into the nose. Looks perfect. After Serena is a great case. Her case is so rewarding because she's such a beautiful girl and to be able to just take away the small little bumps here and there and have it be more in balance with her face is really going to make a big difference.
Almost two months after the surgery, Serena is back in school. When everything went back to normal, I was very pleased with it. Dr. Chadros is amazing. That's really all I can say about her. I'm really happy with the way everything turned out because before the surgery, I was having trouble breathing, always getting congested, and now I actually notice a huge improvement in my breathing. When I look at myself, I think I look better, and I think I look attractive. I don't mean that in a conceited way. I just mean that I'm happy with the way I look right now, and I wasn't before. And I would always pick at my imperfections, and now I just feel more confident in myself. I absolutely love what I do. It's such a privilege to be able to come to work and to actually love what you do. I treat people, so I build relationships that last for years and years and will continue to grow.